What's up, Reefers? Welcome to Alex Poor Corals. This is Alex Wilson, your host, and this is my daily video log where I'm, where I'm showing you the good and the bad and the ugly, the daily details that you need to not make the same mistakes that I made and to hopefully uh, save yourself a whole lot of uh, money and heartbreak. So let's check it out. All right, so here's a shot of my coral quarantine system today and this is day five of after adding the chemi clean and you know still got the brown slime everywhere still got the red slime all right here underneath where the sand's at so definitely smothering everything in here and uh, losing acropores right and left I just lost the green rogers table so bummed out about that as well as several others but let's check them out. They got the brown slime all over them. There's the brown slime on my crocea shell right there all along the sand. Here's a good close up shot of it and full of bubbly brown slime. There it is right there. Looks like uh, some kind of snot, booger snot all over the smuggling everything. So smothering everything down. Acropore is absolutely hating it. I'm getting really bad polyp extension um, generally so and got the fuzzy mushrooms in the back over there all closed up. I got the toadstools just all slimed out. So I gotta get in here to try to knock it off again at least once a day. And um, yeah so that's that's that. I got the, here's another, that other clam just got in here from from biota, hopefully it's latching onto his clamshell. And uh, yeah, here's a close shot of the other acroporus over here, slimed out. So yeah, hopefully it's gonna stabilize though. I won't lose too many more and uh, that's it. We're gonna give it a good two and a half months before I can switch everything over to the main or display, at least that's the plan. So, yeah, let's, so let's check out the main display. What do we got going on over here today? What's up, you little thing? He's eating the algae off the back glass. You prefer that? He doesn't even want to eat nori anymore. Just doing a back glass thing. All right. And I think he might even be eating the bubble algae. Call me crazy, but I, he's, I don't know if he's just eating it or if he's, or if he's just pulling it off and ripping it off. So some of his good algae can grow there. I don't know. Okay, see, dude, you can't fit right there. And you're gonna, dude, the whole heliofungus is gonna eat you right there. Is that what you want? The heliofungus is gonna eat you. What, you're trying to get the algae in there or what? I think he's trying to get the algae in there. Is that it? Or you're just trying to get the camera out of here. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't, oh yeah, you're trying to get me out of here. Is that it? Oh, okay. Look at that. But, all right, so we're gonna check out the gynopores over here. They're doing a little bit better. Check out the pink gynopore over there. Just come went out a little bit more. So got my fingers crossed there. Kind of shadowed under the other one. Just hoping to give it a little bit of protection. Got the meat coral, that's right. Acanthophilia, I just fed it some uh, canned tuna. And looks like a uh, Looks like um, a cooking egg. What else do we got over here, guys? Well, here's this shot of it. And, oh yeah, we've got down here the coral scrubber. And this is where I had the huge red and brown slime. was absolutely everywhere in here. And now it's completely gone just right here in the little bit on the side of the glass in the crushed coral. But everything else is all gone, so hopefully it's going to be replaced now by at least the greens and coralline algae. So I got the coralline algae rock right there along with everything else to get coralline algae going on down there. But yeah, that's just about it. Check out the, this shot of it on this side of it today. Right, yellow thing. So now you're coming over here. Now you, it's just, 
Okay, I'm coming over here. We're gonna be looking at the stuff that's over here. And there's another shot of the, that clam. And you can see that he's uh, opened up about a millimeter there. I don't know how to see, but. And everything, got my uh, mushroom and hammer and uh, frog spawn over here. So, yep, there is. Oh, and I got the Australian live rock. Let's check out, see what it's doing. And what have we got in here? Well, I've got my four Astria snails in here. And what do we got? Hair algae. That's right, Australian live rock is full of hair algae. And that's what I got in here is a bunch of hair algae. And I probably should pull some out of it, but I'm just letting it go um, natural. And, you know, I'll pull most of it out but before I decide to put it into the main display aquarium but there it is joy and live rock does got some coralline algae on there too as well so yep look forward to getting that into the main display eventually but yeah i guess that's a check out a close up of the clamps today what do we got that Golden Maxima right here, there he is, looking crazy sick on the, well, crazy good on this uh, clamshell right there, that's the golden one. And they got the clam hammock over here, Brightwell Aquatics, and yeah, they got the Purple Maxima on that one. Definitely settling in nice clamps, never moved around one inch since I put them on there. So the purple one, definitely a big hit with that clam hammock. The only thing is, they're definitely take up a lot of uh, square footage or surface area such that you know especially in the small 20 gallon aquarium to be able to fit uh, you know or a few more in for a few more clams definitely has takes up quite a bit of room to get to um, have for those clam hammocks but so good so far they're working pretty good and here's a close-up of the squamosa clam today looking nice and gold and it's got the blue rim on him a little bit, so awesome there. And then my other smaller golden ma Maxima there. Yeah, the Parides over here. So yeah, bummed out about my other Parides uh, rock over there with the Christmas tree warmers. Looks like it's like bleached out with this latest uh, round of treatments with the red slime and the chemi clean. So. Hopefully, uh, it'll bounce back. If not, maybe someday I can put some kind of encrusting coral over it. Or worst case scenario, I can just uh, have the coralline algae on it. I don't know if it's that'll work or not, but it seems like it should be okay. Got uh, because this one right here does have a lot of the coralline algae growing on it on the other side of it towards the back. So that's that. So I don't know if it's, uh, I assume the parietes will win over the coralline algae, but I don't know, maybe, maybe the coralline algae will start encrusting over the parietes, I guess, depending on which is growing faster. So, I guess that's it, the old thing. All right, that's it, guys. Check back for the next update, though, because to see what has lived and what has died, I don't know, just we'll see what happens next. I have no clue. So happy reaping, guys. Check you guys on the next one. Bye.